got to be careful because it's there's Star Wars or Star Trek. There's all those songs start to sound the same. I Indiana know. Jones, they I'm all blur messing, together. I'm just messing with people. I know, I know. Okay, let's kick it off. What do you got? Okay, um, we have uh, this really sweet JST extension cable with a switch in the middle. Um, I'll show it on the overhead because that's actually the best way to show it. Um, this is a way for you to, I mean, it, it, it's a kind of essentially for people who have feathers and they want to um, turn on and off batteries and anything, well, basically anything a light poly battery connects to. So normally the light poly battery connects directly into the socket. And if you want to turn something off, you'd have to unplug it. But now with this fancy extension cable, it has, uh, not only does it extend, but it has a switch in the middle. And when you press the switch, it turns it off. And when you press the switch, it turns it back on. And you switch, and turns back off. On, off, on, off. Amazing. So this is a switch. Yeah. Okay. But it's connected to a JST cable, and that makes, makes it very handy if you want to use a um, battery with, um, with something that doesn't have an on-off switch on it, like the Flora does, but maybe like I got like 50 gentleman. projects around. Like I wish there was a switch in the GSA connector. Yeah, so this kind of like. you it's know like it's a, a little it's a little chunky, but it works great. Okay, um, next up, uh, the pie tops are back in stock. Zoom. Yes, this is a DIY laptop for Raspberry Pi, where you can um, basically add a Raspberry Pi 3 is what we suggest. Uh, launch their software with it, and you basically have a laptop come for the screen, the battery. It's not going to be the same as your MacBook Pro, but it is going to. But give it's you, yours. But it's yours. It's a Raspberry Pi. It's you know, has uh, Linux running on it. You can install software on it. it. Has hardware. You can connect. You can attach LEDs if you want. So I thought it was kind of. There's a lot of these projects. This one seemed to be the most well built. We're trying them all. This is the best one. Yeah, it it is. Of, this is kind of the best of the of the existing yep. uh, series. Not that there might not be better ones in the future, but so far this is yeah. for the people who want to build a Pi laptop. We like these. Also, it's good for a kid because mm -hmm. they get a Raspberry Pi and it's like, ah, oh, there's all this stuff, but if they want like a laptop and move it around. So, okay. Next up. This is exciting. Believe it or not, this is exciting. This is my favorite. These are the best tweezers. These are the best tweezers. You can't really beat these tweezers. They're so great. I don't know where I put them down. Oh my goodness, there you are. Thank you. Oh, you have my tweezers. So these are like really, really, really sharp and very, very strong tweezers. So we have other tweezers that are, that are perfectly fine, but they do eventually get bent. Um, these tweezers, pretty much like, you can kind of, you know, I'm like trying yeah. really hard to like bend the tip. Yeah, and my joke was like, these are like Wolverine claw they pretty much um, tweezers. Don't. They don't bend, they don't break. Well, I just like really push yeah. them. So I bent it a little bit, but then I can, you can bend it back. But like if you drop them, they don't bend, which I have done as test. And they're really good for picking up extremely small components because they have very precise tips. So like picking up something like this 0402 resistor is um, totally not a big deal. And then of course, something like an 0805 is even easier. So I'll pick up an 0805. Hi. Wait, there you go. So picking up small parts is really easy. Um, it's like just very sharp, very precise, very light. Um, feels good in the hand. Uh, it doesn't have too, I don't like ones that have too wide of a, uh, a yeah. mouth, so this is kind of nice. And um, I like these. I think if you, if you use tweezers a lot for SMT, you'll probably enjoy having precision tweezers. You can really tell the difference between these and the, the lower cost yeah. ones. Okay. Um, it really matters. All right. And like you can like being able to really grab it and not have it flick out of the tweezers is important. So having good strong tips. Okay. Is key. Round and round they go. Where the bird will deliver a new feather, no one knows. I don't know. <laughs> um, this, these, look. The photo studio is going to. Look, we have a camera and we got this thing. I got them this um, this servo rot rotational servo plate, and they seem to really love it. That's <laughs> what it is. Okay, so uh, we have uh, some feather stuff here. Yeah, we have um, a series of like six different feathers that was white, and we've got red, yellow, light green, pure green, blue, and whatever other color I missed. Um, Gosh, there is yeah, videos blue. of each one. Oh my gosh, there is. So these are seven, these are not seven segments, these are 14 segment 
which means that it's much easier to do words because you get split segments and the cross segments. Uh, the other feather wings only have seven segments. So they're kind of only good for numerics. This is alphanumeric. I call them alphanumeric. We have a font for it as well. As you can see, it's lovely. You can see all the letters. And um, it's just a little bit more expensive because, of course, you get more segments. But it looks awesome because you can write words and, and string letters and numbers and dots and stuff together. And um, this is a feather wing, so it works with all of our feathers. It uses a whole tech chip as a uh, LED controller, so you don't need to actually control all these pins. It's done for you over I squared C, so it works with any feather and you can stack up to seven of them or eight of them on a single controller and solder in the LED color you want and you're ready to go. And I can even show yeah, a couple it of these. overhead. Yeah, so you get it as a kit. Set our together, not too bad, yeah. but then you can put it Let me it just point out something about this. Feather. So, okay, Hi. so I want a crow, but like, you know, I have to get consensus from a bunch of people, like a raven or a crow, and I know this bird looks creepy, but trust me, like, I, they're holding me back on the. So. I think this little bit of color is nice though. No? I mean, maybe. Okay, so this is, I have this version that I built up with sockets, uh, so you can see, but um, this is nice because you can really see there's 14 segments, and I'm just having it print out a whole bunch of characters and numbers. Um, and I can show off some other colors. So that's white. White is very bright. This one's blue. Sorry, red. The only, only tough part is getting it in the socket. Yeah. This is like the most challenging part. But it's it's lit up, so it's 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 the connection has been made. Yeah, if I hold it down, it'll... This is like a... Like if a, you solder it in, it'll be much so better. Solder it in. So that's red. Yeah, you only have to really do this once, and then this is blue. Let me see if I can get yellow or green. I don't know what this is. B, B? No, this is blue. Okay, so that's blue. Yeah. It looks like white. Yeah. I mean, like, yellow. you know, we, we did these videos to be super clear about I mean, I have these videos. Man, I keep picking up the same color. Hold on. No, I really want to get the yellow one. Is this you yellow? Can do I'm just going to play these videos while you do your thing. Okay, this is green, which looks, like, super cool. Yeah, so this is yellow. And then this is green. You want me to show it on the overhead now? Yeah, this is the green color. All right. Which I really like. Yeah, oh, it's nice. like a pure green, very beautiful. So a lovely little add-on for your feather, and it's like exactly the same size as the feathers as well. So um, perfect for adding. I mean, we have the OLED, which is good for like high resolution text. But if you want something that's visible from like across a room, um, this will definitely. It's very bright, very visible. Good for short messages, scrolling text, and such. Okay. Okay, that's the feather wings. And I will never get this to line up again. That is the products. Yay! Good work. Every week, a new feather yep. in your cap.